Hello, this is Shelly, and I am making my first Minecraft EDU video for Lessons for Minecraft. Um, I've never made how-to videos to go with the lessons that I've created and the standards that I've linked them to, and so I thought this would be an easy one to make my first venture into how-to videos. I am using the old version of Minecraft EDU run by Teacher Gaming. Um, I was recently selected to be a uh, global Minecraft mentor this year, but I have not explored the Microsoft version enough to make the the video in that yet. So I'm going to make it in this version. And uh, the first one that I thought I'd start off with is the, is the lesson that goes along with uh, the Common Core Kindergarten Literacy in the Reading Foundational Skills under Print Concepts, and it's uh, D, 1D, and it says recognize all uppercase and lowercase letters of the alphabet. So in this uh, activity, I like to have students in creative mode with um, different color blocks filling their inventory, or wool blocks filling their inventory. And um, so what I like to do is kind of um, a pixelated version of letters, but it still gets the point across with students. Um, so I'm just going to do this. Um, there's a lot of different versions of, um, of the alphabet out there that are what are called pixelated, which if uh, you're not sure what that is, it's pretty much Minecraft is pixelated. Um, and so uh, what this is, what I'm doing right now is uh, laying down a capital letter A. And so if students are um, working on uh, a letter, um, they can uh, have a guide. Uh, if you can find some pixelated letters online, uh, you know, it could be where you just let students uh, become creative with their letter formation. And um, this is going to be my capital letter A. And again, like I said, this kind of further uh, shows that why this is a good idea to have uh, creative mode on so the student can fly and see the letter. So I've just made a capital letter A. Um, I would like to, I like the color, so I'm going to switch my wool, and now I'm going to work on a capital letter B. And uh, again, I'm just referencing uh, a uh, pixelated uh, alphabet image that I found doing Google search. Um, and I'm trying to uh, just reinforce that students uh, having knowledge of the shapes of the letters and understanding what letters uh, look like. Um, and this is a, just a really simple way for them to grasp onto that. So this is my capital letter B. And some of these are not going to look as good as you hoped they would. Um, but again, it's getting the point across, the major point across. So here's my capital letter B as I look down on it. And I'll do one more. I'm going to switch to the purple wool, and I'm going to do a letter C. And so again, there's my A, B, and C. So those are your capital letters, and then you are more than welcome to do the same thing with your lowercase letters. So if I started an A, um, I'm going to go back to my pink wool uh, here and do the letter A underneath there. And sometimes this can get a little bit tricky with um, spacing it out. So I'm actually going to take this out and move myself a little bit further down uh, because I want to make sure I have enough room underneath there for all my taller letters. Oops, and that's why I have a, gla a grass block in here as well, just to kind of fill that in. I am using just a flat world 
uh, here in Minecraft EDU. I just created a plain old flat world so that there was plenty of room to work in. And whoop, I did not make that the right size. <laughs> so, and again, this is trial and error. So if students make that, and, you know, they're more than welcome to just kind of destroy everything as it goes and start over again. So let me try that one more time. Oops. That's the beauty of Minecraft. We can make mistakes. No harm, no foul. So, okay. And so this is what kind of what my A would look like. I may actually want to bring that out just one more here. Um, so that would be my lowercase a. Then I can move on to my b. And that one's pretty pretty simple and um, I can always make it taller if I need to and so there's my B and then I'll make my lowercase c and this is and a lot of them you know this is a great time for discussion on what were similar about the lowercase letters uh, what was different um, so you know these are good conversations to have with kids while you're having this um, a bit of an extension idea for this is if you would um, get done with the alphabet uh, another um, standard in this strand is um, recognizing that words are separated by spaces so students could then make words and make sure they put spaces in between them um, and uh, that could build off of this as well so this is uh, my ABC uh, just an idea of what it looked like I did a few more letters uh, over here just as a sample to kind of give you an idea again very similar uh, to what I did over in the other spot uh, and this would go again with the kindergarten literacy standard under reading foundational skills uh, recognize all uppercase and lowercase letters of the alphabet hope you enjoyed and let me know in the comments if you want to see more like this thanks bye